This is Math 1130, homework 3B. And I'm going to look at number three, which says, which of the viewing windows would show both the x and y intercepts of the graph of negative 120x minus 84y equals negative 1,680? Now, they give us four options here, but they're not expecting you to know which option to use right away they're gonna walk you through the process of finding the correct window. So the key here is that they want you to find the X and Y intercept. And so I'm gonna to have to do some calculation before I can actually do that. So coming down to part one, it says the viewing window is part of the Cartesian plane shown in the display screen of a calculator. The boundaries of the window are often denoted by a bracket x min comma x max comma x scale, the SCL stands for scale, and then close brackets. So when you see the options up here in parts A, B, C, and D, the first set of brackets is your x min, x max, and x scale. The second set of brackets has your y min, y max, and y scale. So your lowest y value, highest y value, and then how often you have a tick mark on the y axis. So what we wanna do, because we want to see both intercepts on this graph, we're going to find the x intercept first. When you're finding the x intercept, you always wanna plug in a zero for y, because when your graph crosses the x-axis, y will be zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the equation that I'm given here. I'll have negative 120 x. I'm plugging in a zero for y, and so that 84 y will become 84 times zero, which will cancel out. 84 times zero is just zero. So I'll have negative 120 x, equals negative 1,680. So to find my x-intercept, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the calculator and plug in negative 1,680 divided by negative 120. That will give me my x-intercept of 14. Now they want an ordered pair, an x-intercept. You always wanna list your x value first. We found the x was 14. At the x-intercept, the y is zero. So it's gonna be the ordered pair 14, zero. Okay, good. So now let me get rid of my um, ink here. I'll clear my drawings. Okay, so now the next part says, to ensure the viewing window will show the x-intercept, the x-minimum must be smaller, the minimum must be less than 14, and the x-maximum must be larger than 14 or greater than 14. So what I want in my viewing window is a x-minimum that's less than 14 and an X maximum that's greater than 14 so that I'll be able to see where the graph crosses the X axis. To find the Y intercept, you always let X equal zero because when you're on the Y axis, the X value is zero. And you're going to use the equation just like we did before, which let me scroll up here. It was negative 120x minus 84y equals negative 1680. If I'm plugging in a zero for x, that whole x term will get zeroed out. And so I just get negative 84y equals negative 1680. So I'm finding the y intercept here. I plug in a zero for x and I get negative 84y equals negative 1,680. I want to solve for that y value. So I'm going to come over to my calculator. 
and I'll put in negative 1,680 divided by negative 84. So my y-intercept is 20. I'm going to come back down here. They want an ordered pair. The x value is 0. The y value is 20. Because of that, I want my y minimum to be less than 20 and my y maximum to be greater than 20 so that I'll be able to see where that 20, um, where the graph crosses the y-axis at 20. So now I have to choose the viewing window. I want the x minimum to be less than 14. So all of these comply with that. I want the x maximum to be greater than 14. So automatically I know it's B. That's the only choice where the x maximum is greater than 14. I want my y minimum to be less than 20 and the y maximum to be greater than 20. So that y window works as well. So the answer is going to be B, x minimum of negative 20, x maximum of positive 20, x scale of 2, y minimum of negative 40, y maximum of positive 40, and y scale of 10.